First, we are going to walk through how to ring up a customer and accept payments from the Square for Retail point of sale. The first screen you should see is a passcode entry. This is enabled to allow sellers to set up different permission levels for their staff. These permission controls what staff can and cannot do. Staff can also clock in and out from this screen. Sellers can begin building a cart using a few methods. Using a connected barcode scanner, using a device camera as a barcode scanner, or manually adding items by tapping on them in the catalog. In the top, you have your search bar. So this is where you can search items, customers, discounts, categories, tap and add them to the cart. Your item grid view on the left-hand side here has different pages that you can name. You tap an item, it adds to cart. You can also have different display groups. Tap those items, it'll add to cart as well. You also are able to create shortcuts by using action tiles. So these action tiles can allow you to do actions such as adding custom amounts, selling gift cards, creating items, viewing your customers, discounts, and saved carts. We can also add items to a transaction that are sold in fractional quantities. So you can set up different weights or units of measurement, tap those items, it adds to cart, and you can also create bundles under one SKU and add those bundles to the main checkout tile. Under shortcuts, you are able to add manual or automated discounts. Manual discounts, you just tap and it applies to cart. You can also tap into a specific item to provide specific discounts. So if there are discounts for that item that are on the item level versus on the whole transaction level. And you can also set up automated discounts, such as customer group discounts or specific sale offers like buy one, get one or you can put discount parameters on for certain dates and times. So let's say your customer is shopping around and you wanna save their cart. We are able to have saved cart capabilities. This is where you'll add that customer name under the saved cart. So we're just gonna save this under our customer, Martin. When that customer is ready to check out and you wanna access the saved cart, you can just access that action tile by tapping saved carts, tap into that saved cart, open that cart, and you'll be ready to check out. We can also add customers to the cart by adding customer in the top middle of your screen or tapping that customer button there, viewing our customers, and adding Martin to the cart. Sellers can proactively add a profile and see and view notes about the customers, such as group memberships and any other important notes. Tapping into that customer profile on the point of sale screen, you also are able to see if they are included in any additional groups, view any contact information, buyer summary, loyalty information, their frequent items, activity logs. So you're able to see all past purchases, marketing and loyalty activity, any notes on the customer. You can keep a payment card on file and any file. So any images or PDFs. So our customers added, our items are added, we're ready to check out. Bottom right hand corner, we'll tap charge. This will take us to our payment screen here. At this point, customers are prompted to dip, swipe, or tap their card. We also offer cash flow management. After the receipt selection is finished, and if a seller is using loyalty, a total point screen will appear for the customer or if they are not part of the loyalty program, the customer will then be prompted to opt in via their phone number.